We are back at it again here with another video with the Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. I'll ask for returns for you guys to smash that like button. And here we are with Tide, Cryptide, TYDE stock. And the stock has been pulling downwards. Hit a bottom here on Friday, pop back up, and it's trying to go ahead and consolidate here. And based off 42 Vision, we hit a dip area here and a rip area here in the aftermarket hours. And right now it's sitting sideways. Now it wasn't the only stock going higher at the beginning of the day. Tesla was going higher as well. Our Tesla bot sent out a bull indicator at 9.35 a.m. And from that moment forward, call options went up 200% plus within an hour, guys. And if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge over the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to our spy bot, our QQQ bot our newly released Tesla bot, and we have other bots on the way, as well as our 42 vision indicators to receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets. And you can now join the members using these resources to maximize in either direction by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts. So Tide is here at a pivotal level, trying to hold itself up above 110 and specifically $1. But before we break it all down, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home runs of the day were spectacular beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of our growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. So these are the two stocks I mentioned this morning. Both of them gave jumps of 3 to 5%, 5 to 10% plus. But one of them turned out to be a home run, and that was APDN. Full strength on the pre-market here on 42 Vision. Consolidation towards the bell. And right after the bell, it jumped up nearly 50% plus. Consolidated and hit a highest point of 200% plus on the day, guys. If you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market and receive this edge and clarity over the charts, and we strive for opportunities like these every single day, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us. And let's jump into these charts. So here we are with Tide TYDE stock, and it continues to try to consolidate above 110. As we stated earlier in the video, I'm gonna pull up the Born Bear indicators, which you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected to our spy bot, our QQQ bot, our newly released Tesla bot, and we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets. And you can maximize on opportunities in either direction. And you can now join the members using these resources, maximizing whether stocks go up or go down by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts. So here we are with Tide. And it was under a bull indicator in the aftermarket hours on Friday. Went from 110 all the way to highs of 137. Pulled back down to 114 and ran up at the beginning of the day to 134 consolidated and got a bear indicator guys super important to realize that this bear indicator popped up today in the aftermarket hours after all this volatility this bear indicator has now canceled out this bull indicator super important to keep this in mind within the 30 minute and we had just gotten a bull indicator that canceled the previous bear indicator from way up here at the 140s and you could see that there was a resistance around the 130s the 140s multiple times throughout these last several days and weeks and here we are now in the volatility under a bear indicator same thing goes for the 15 minute got a bear indicator around the same area 116 and here we are at the 30 minute at 117 116 getting a bear indicator in the aftermarket hours now when you zoom out on the four hour you could see same thing up here at 128 bear indicator and all this volatility has still been canceled out even though a bull indicator has not popped up, things continue to come right back down to retest support levels down here because this bear indicator has been dominating. I'm going to continue to watch on 42 Vision if things can try to come back up. But right now, the bulls are not putting up the fight to cancel out that bear indicator. If not, the bears are dominating. Now, on the one day, this has been under a bear indicator since way up here at $6. We are in a dip area. And we have tried to go from white with red borders to white with green borders. The next shift would be 
red with green borders and a continuation and I'm going to be watching for an eventual bull indicator to pop up in the process to cancel out this bear indicator but right now in the whole entire process of volatility on the four hour on the one day we're under a bear indicator and we just got one on the 30 minute and also on the 15 minute so what are the key levels i'm watching the first support is 110 below that is down here at 105 and it found support at around one dollar we definitely want to see this stay above one dollar you could see how it hit a dip area here and bounce back up and fall its way back up to this rip area of bright green borders and that is what we do here with 42 vision we're able to see the dips from the rips and the rips to the dips and the bull and bear indicators are there as extra layers of confirmation to see what's going on within the move so right now this bear indicator just popped up on the 30 minute we have one on the 15 minute and we've had two bear indicators on the four hour and one day as well so super important to watch these support levels down here very carefully and to the upside we want to see this break back above 124 125 and then if it could get back up to the highs here of 135 will be a key level of resistance based off the history of the chart and if it could break above 135 and find support here and the bulls can continue to push up higher and cancel out that previous bear indicator and get a bull indicator and break out higher the next resistance is up here at the 167 mark now this was a big run that the stock had and most of it has evaporated right back down found support above one dollar and i've talked about how important it is to stay above one dollar in the bigger picture not just for the run or for the sake of it actually running higher or whatnot if not for the actual strength here if not the bears are going to try to continue to tear this one down fairly fast and it's going to go ahead and do what follow what bbig has been doing and bbig is currently below one dollar now even though they don't go hand in hand anymore they're kind of indirect correlations and they have had some moments of disconnect they're not moving together per se now cryptide is trying to do its own thing and it's separate from bbig but the fact that both of them could end up below one dollar and staying below one dollar is going to be a very very big sign that the bears are tearing this one down with bbig and also that it's following the overall crypto market and the crypto market has been falling from recent highs and peaks up here of 24,000 back to 22,000. So there's a lot of volatility here as well. And Cryptide is tied up indirectly with that niche and space with Web3 and NFTs and so forth. I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.